Hello and welcome to how to avoid spam user registrations on your WordPress website. I'm Javis Lewis and I've received this question recently from a client of mine who was receiving very strange emails such as this one. And they can vary and they usually have weird letters and weird email addresses and all this means is that somebody's uh, gone to your WordPress website, went to a not a not so much secretive URL but one that isn't quite obvious and registered themselves as a user. This is usually done by spammers who'd like to gain access to your website and hope you've left a little tick box unchecked and I'd like to show you which one that is. So first of all let's have a look at how this can happen. This is a standard WordPress login screen here. You've seen it billions of times and usually you just put in your username and your password and you log into the back end. And you also know that you get there by either typing in your domain followed by wp-admin. That gets you here. The URL looks a little bit different here. Or you get there by going to your domain forward slash wp-login.php. That'll get you to the same screen. But if you go to this URL, you could also append this by question mark action equals register and if you do this then the login screen looks a little bit different it says register for this site and this is an option we can turn on and off on this website it's currently on I think by default as of uh, WordPress version 3.5 this is uh, switched off this behavior but you may have activated it or you may have upgraded from an older version of WordPress where this was switched on so what would happen here is the spammer would give it a, a username, I'll just say spam user, and some email address and then click register. Ooh, that user is already registered. Let's go for spam user 2, go register, and now they will receive an email if that email address had, in, had indeed existed with a password and a proper URL to log into the site. I'm a proper user on the site, so I'm going to log in here. And if you do the same and you head over to the users section and you display all your users, then they'll give you a list of all the people who currently have access to your WordPress website. Now, this may not be anything to worry about if all they are is a subscriber, but if they're anything higher than a subscriber, such as a contributor or an editor or even an administrator, then they can wreak serious havoc with your site. And the way to avoid this is to head over to your settings and go to the general section. In it you'll find a section under membership and a tick box that says anyone can register. Followed by a drop down menu that says what is the default user role for these people. So this could be administrator and if I'd leave it as this and then go to the bottom and hit save, then anyone can register on my website and do anything administrative such as delete posts, install themes, update the website, all these things that you really don't want spammers to do. So the easiest thing to do is to untick the checkbox, set this back to subscriber, be absolutely double sure, and hit save changes. Because now when you go back to that secretive URL, let me just log out here, action register then this comes up user registration is currently not allowed case closed no spammers allowed on the site but if you do that and there's still some residual spammers on your website then you can delete those users fairly straight away go back to users go to all users and just take the top box here to bulk delete everyone make sure you untick yourself and the people you want to actually keep head over to bulk sections and click delete. Confirm what's going to happen to the posts that any of these people may have posted. So you can delete all the posts or you can attribute them to any of the other users. And then hit confirm deletion. You can do this one by one as well if you like. Just uh, hover over a user and hit delete. And then the same little menu pops up. I don't want to delete that user, so I'm going to leave this guy untouched. But that is all there's to it. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.